First Baptist Church of Kimberling City presents a fresh look with fresh starts. Well, good morning again, folks. Uh, glad you could join us here for a fresh start to your day as, as you begin uh, to, to walk with the Lord on this day. You know, patience is not my strong suit. Um, I don't like to wait. Um, it, oftentimes, it, when we when you see a dinner out here at, at church in the fellowship hall, you don't see me getting in line. I'll oftentimes be either visiting with somebody or just sitting at a table because I figure if I'm going to have to wait, I'll sit here rather than wait in line. I don't like to wait. Even things that are beyond my control, I don't like to wait for. I, I'm, I'm very impatient about a lot of things. How about you? Are you impatient on, on things? Do you get impatient with people uh, around you or circumstances around you? But what about God? Do you get impatient with God? Been there. Uh, you know, I, I, I have been impatient with God before. Probably am now. Probably will be in the future. But why? When we look at who God is and we recognize uh, we take a step back and recognize who He is and what He has done in the creation of everything we have around us in our own salvation, we need to recognize that timing is everything. You know, if we believe the account of when Jesus came to, to earth, whenever he, when, when he became God incarnate, and we do believe that, Galatians tells us that at the fullness of time, God sent His Son. What does that mean? It means that when everything in the world was just right, not too early, not too, too late, but when everything was just right, God sent Jesus into this world. And then we believe and we trust God with our salvation and our, our eternal destiny. We have this hope of what's going to happen someday. Romans 12 talks about, or excuse me, Romans 8, it talks about uh, this hope that we have in, in salvation and what God is going to do and the reward that is there. And um, if we have this hope, then we wait patiently for it. So if we believe that God sent His Son into the world at just the right time and we believe that God saved us and has an eternal future for us, and we do, we be, as Christians, we believe that and we trust Him with that, then why can't we trust Him with whatever else maybe He has directed us to do? Maybe He's put something out there in our future that we just say, I'm ready for that now, God. I'm, I want that now, God. But maybe God says now is not just, just the right time yet. We should wait patiently on, on God. We should wait for His timing because I don't know about you, but God doesn't consult me for my schedule. He doesn't ask me, hey, what do you think about if we do this then? God is God. He sets the schedule. His timing is perfect. And as we look towards the future and as we look towards um, following Him and fulfilling His will, timing is everything. So today, may you make a fresh start in waiting on the Lord that He could bless you with his timing as we wait patiently on him. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share Fresh Start. Fresh Start is a ministry of First Baptist Church, Kimberling City.